Water level and current dictate how and where bass live and feed in rivers. Discover how bass go with the flow in River Bass, The Current Factor, part of our Angling Edge instructional DVD collection, available at anglingedge.com. So, what are they biting? It's a question often asked by anglers eager to get in on a hot bite. Just tie on the magic lure and you're practically guaranteed to reel in the big ones. While fishing is seldom that easy, because you still need the fish appropriate spots, blending tradition and experience with improved tackle and techniques that make you increasingly more effective. Oh, God, big, big fish, Jim. Part of the solution is staying ahead of trends, not simply following them, and understanding the difference between gimmicks and creative new tools for catching the fish you're after. Fish will ultimately judge your efforts, and cantankerous smallmouth bass are no exception. Look at that beautiful, beautiful smallmouth, doesn't it? You know, today, with all of the information that we have available to us on fish location, on how smallmouths like this move in their favorite environment, whether it's a lake, a reservoir, or in this case, the river that we're on, we know a lot about fish movement. The key to putting a lot of these fish in the boat today isn't so much about location, because the fact of the matter is that I'll bet you three or four hours on your favorite body of water for whatever kind of fish you want to fish for, you fish through a bunch of them. The key is to fish them different than anybody else, something the fish haven't been conditioned to. Oop, look at that, look at that, oh, look at that, oh, can you see him, Al, the way he came creeping up on it? Oh, he came in on it really slow. Beautiful fish. Look, look at that guy, I think we're gonna need the net. I got a net here. We got hooks all over this guy. I got a net here for you. Boy, he came just sneaking right in and back of it. Boy, a beautiful fish. Oh, whoa. holy mackerel. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Go, go reach for the whistle. Oh, no, gosh. no, I know. <laughs> I'll catch him off. Look, she spit part of him out. There you go. There we go. go. Look there at that. Go. Boy, that's a tank. Look at this guy. Look at that. Look what he's got perching in his mouth here. A bait called the DT Fat One. It's a beautiful bait. But it's, it's not what you'd call a really traditional crankbait. A lot of uh, bass baits, what you do is you reel them and you crank them down to the bottom and you ricochet them off the bottom. The DT Fat One has a little bit different design characteristic to it. Let's get her back in the water. A DT Fat One combines unique action qualities of both a topwater lure and a crankbait. Generally, topwater baits move slow and sit in a fish's strike zone for a long period of time. Uh, got him out of there. It took a while to get him out of there. <laughs> Crankbaits, on the other hand, use erratic behavior, flash, and vibration to trigger strikes from predatory fish. A wake bait like the DT Fat One combines slow surface commotion with flash and vibration for an unusual combination of attracting and triggering characteristics that can be very effective for both largemouth and smallmouth bass. Yeah, it looked like a little better fish. Oop! There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh! Ugh. Nice. Come here, buddy. Can't even catch up with him. Oh! Oh, come here, buddy. She's looking at him. You want a net? You got the net by you? No, I don't. All right, hang on. I'm not Whoa. Over. <laughs> These river fish are tough. These guys are tough. There we go. Come here, buddy. Whoa. Cool. Man, it's unbelievable. You know, it, it, a lot of people, when you look at this bait, you think that it's too, too big for smallmouth bats, and it's amazing on how good of a hooking bait this thing is. There we go. Oh, go. Look at that. Double Beautiful handle. fish. That, nothing. I can dip them from the back and just kind of whip them up to them. You can't beat that. No question about it. When it comes to catching smallmouth bass and largemouth bass, lakes, rivers, reservoirs, these shallow, fat wake baits could be phenomenally effective. A beautiful smallmouth. 
Water level and current dictate how and where bass live and feed in rivers. Discover how bass go with the flow in River Bass, the current factor, part of our Angling Edge instructional DVD collection, available at anglingedge.com.